I'll be sharing with you some powerful prayer points that will help to set up the foundation of your union, your marriage, your, your family. Not only may I not marry the wrong person, also may I not marry the wrong family. I won't father or bet the wrong children. Wealth and riches will always dwell with me and my partner. Ah, <laughs> now this one. May I not repeat the same mistake my parents made? I have been fortunate enough to sit at the feet of elders, those that have been married, and even those that are no longer married. And I love learning from them and asking tons of questions about their pains, gains, experiences. And one key takeaway of what stood out for me was the importance of prayers before entering this sacred union. Why I won't be sharing all the prayers? Because on, even when you're married, prayer never stops, right? <laughs> you keep praying till the end, till you get to heaven. <laughs> Prayer never stops, but I'll be sharing with you some powerful prayer points that will help to set up the foundation of your union, your marriage, your, your family, and things in the light. So, I know this is going to bless you. Ensure you stay till the end because you need every of these prayer points I will be mentioning. So, I'll be looking down because... I've been able to collate some personal ones, right, that I think so deep. So the first one I have here is, Lord, prepare me for marriage. You have to pray to God that God should prepare you for marriage. Not to just prepare you physically. He has to prepare you mentally. He has to prepare you emotionally. He also has to prepare you financially, whether you are a lady or you are a male. And this prayer doesn't have to do whether you're a Christian or a Muslim. Everybody, ensure you pray to your God, right? Number two, I read down here, may I not marry the wrong person? This prayer is so deep. And I pray, I usually pray this prayer. Not, not only may I not marry the wrong person, also may I not marry the wrong family. You marry the wrong person, you miss it. You marry the wrong family, you will be frustrated, right? You'll be frustrated right, left, and center. Because everything is intertwined. You can't only marry only your husband or your wife and not be involved with the family. So everything has to align. You marry the wrong person. You miss it in life. You marry the, into the wrong family. You're mm -hmm. frustrated. And the battle never, ever stops. One problem or the other. One drama or the other. So you have to pray so hard to God. Especially don't marry the wrong person. I mean, but you know, marry into the wrong family. I wrote down here, Lord, send me a partner who will support my ideas and dreams. This is also very important. When you marry a partner that doesn't believe in your dream, that won't support you. This is a good way to, to get to one's early grave. All right? Because when you are saying this, the person is saying that, and you guys are not aligned in any part. So, Lord... Send me a partner who will support my dreams and ideas. Help me find someone who believes in my vision and encourages me to pursue my passion. Applies to both male and female, right? Next, may my partner prioritize our family above all else. <laughs> Why this is here is because there are some family that the fathers are no longer fathers to their children. They only donated their spare and they're not responsible in any, in any way. They don't prioritize the family. Instead of educating their children, they don't do anything in their life. They are just not it. So you need a partner that will prioritize your family above all else. Next, I say, help me, Lord, not to lose myself or my joy in marriage. This is a very important prayer point, especially for women. Because during the phase of giving birth, raising kids, Attending to everybody, ensuring everybody is fine, ensuring the house is tidy, doing all these things, you tend to lose yourself. You no longer think about yourself, think about your family first. And in that way, if care is not taken, you tend to lose yourself. You're just like a shadow of yourself. You're no longer living. You're literally not living. You're just trying to fulfill the number of your years on earth, but you're not living. So that's why that prayer is very important. Help me, Lord, not to lose myself or my joy. May I always remain true to myself while nurturing our relationship. 
Next, I pray for a successful marriage. Some marriages are working. Mine will work. Don't even say some. A lot of marriage, because you have to surround yourself with positive. A lot of marriages are working. Mine. You call your name. Mine. Ever show my kindness. My marriage would work. Right? I don't care what others are saying. None of my business. Next, I say, I won't father or bet the wrong children. This prayer is only so deep in my heart. Lord, please, don't give me children that will stress me. Lord, please, I don't want children that would have any complications, health complications, health challenges. Please, Lord, I don't have the strength. I don't want it, please. These are prayers you should pray in your closet. Please, don't just let it end in this video. Pray. Next, Lord, give me a kind partner. <laughs> this is very important. When you don't marry a kind partner, even when you're suffering, the person will not even look at you or, you know, just pray that God, please give me a kind partner, right? Partner that loves you. Partner that loves Christ. Partners that love God, right? Next, wealth and riches will always dwell with me and my partner. Ah, <laughs> poverty is a bastard, dude. Oh. Hmm. You have to pray about this. Lord, wealth and riches. You said the abundance of the seas shall be gathered to us. Wealth and riches belong to God. Father, wealth and riches will never run. We will never be broke. We will never beg for bread. He said, he daily loaded us with blessings. He daily, daily, every day, right? He daily loaded us with blessings. So God, you shall provide for my marriage, for the children, the school fees, the house rent. Not necessarily, even if you are not paying for house rent. Lord, our house, our car, right? Our investment that we'll be making. You provide for it all. It's all. Wealth and riches will always dwell with me and my partner. Don't forget I said me and my partner. Not one-sided that your husband is rich and you have no, nothing. And you are rich and you have nothing. It's going to be one-sided. It's frustrating. When one party is the breadwinner of the family or one, one party is the financial pillar of the family, it is extremely frustrating. It's not a good thing. Trust me. Next, teach me how to nurture my marriage and children. Teach me, Lord, how to not my marriage and children. You have to pray about this. It's not about breathing. It's not about getting married. The ability to maintain, the ability to nurture, the ability to grow God-fearing children, ability to nurture godly home. Not be my mouth, too. Not be my mouth. It takes God. It takes God intervention. It takes God divine wisdom. To breathe is breath of wisdom on your life but you and your partner now this one may i not repeat the same mistake my parents made lord the same mistake my parents made in marriage may i not repeat it you have to pray this prayer i remembered a friend i think before they gave birth to her a mother gave birth to her out of wedlock and she had this fear she said she doesn't want to become pregnant without being officially married and trust me she fought and she won not even one, about two of them. They fought and they won. The same re repetitive mistake. You just see your mother got pregnant before uh, marriage. You two are getting pregnant before married. Or marry the wrong partner. You two are getting married to the wrong partner. Or you got married to a busy partner. Your, your mom got married to a busy partner. Or your dad ma got married to a busy partner, right? And it's repeating in all generations. It's not becoming like a generational cause or a generational just pray please lord may i not repeat the same mistake my parents made like you have to learn from what your parents have experienced not repeating their, 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 the same mistake they made it's an error it's an error otherwise every generational cause or health challenge will not affect me my children or my family i think i'll be rounding this video here because i don't want this video to be too lengthy this one says Every generational cause of health challenge will not affect me, my children, or my family. This prayer is deep. This prayer is deep. You might not understand this, but this prayer is deep. There are some family that there are some generational sickness that follows them. Like their father has diabetes, their grandmother has diabetes. There are some cancer is like dwelling in the family. There are some, there are some terrible disease, hepatitis. 
is dwelling in the family. Some of them is mental illnesses that is dwelling in the family. Some of them is just one strange sickness that happens in maybe every second generation or every second child or every first child or every third child. All these kind of like father, like 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 daughter illnesses, like father, like mother. Oh God, please, I don't want it. I don't want it, Lord. I don't want it. Every generational cause or health challenge will not affect me and my children or my husband. I think I'm going to round this video up here. Yeah? If you found this video helpful, I know it will bless you. Please do to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to join our fitness class, monthly fitness class, no gym required, do well to use the link in the show box to join the monthly class. Don't forget, especially mothers. Pray for your womb. Pray for yourself. Pray for every part of your body. Pray for your eyes, your head, because mothers are one of the most important aspects of marriage. They are very important. So you should not joke with your place as a mother. And don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't, miss it. don't, don't marry the wrong person. Unless it's just going to be chaos upon chaos. Thank you for watching this video. Please do well to share. Sharing this video is a way to help this channel grow. And I sincerely appreciate everyone of you that have been sharing my videos and also liking my videos. God sincerely bless you. Tell me in the comment section if you like videos like this. Is my first time of making, or this is my second time of making a prayer video. If you like videos like this, please do well to let me know in the comment section that yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring more. And I have a lot of prayers that will help in business, in family, in love, relationship every areas of life so i'll bring them in my channel and i'll see you another one bye for now bye <laughs> au revoir